I'm Bernie99 and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to create a batch file player moving system. So what this is, is you basically can now make any game you want in a batch file. So the one that I've got written currently has this little grid here that I created with this little white box and it's got the commands here press W S A or D to move on the keyboard so if you press W it moves the box up S down A to the right and D to the left oops other way and D to the right A to the left <clears throat> I'm doing this in the morning so I just woke up so I'm not all there yet so then you can just keep doing this and it updates every time you move so then to exit you just press M like it says. So now I'm going to show you how to make this. I haven't actually published this at all and I made it a little bit ago. So I kind of have, it's a very simple, only it's less than a hundred lines of code. So I'm going to kind of show you how to do it and rewrite the sections over in this. So here let's do this. So, this first section that I just copied over is the initialization of the window, basically. So when you start the batch file, the first thing that I always have it do is do at echo off, which basically stop, tells the command prompt to stop echoing the command before it's actually run. So if you had the line this would never be in a batch file program but for some reason say if you had help it would not display this C users in or any of this if you had echo off now the second line at title BF PMS is running which is so the at title as I showed in one of the tutorial videos sets the title of the window so I should just leave that open. So that sets where it says C colon Windows slash System32 slash CMD.exe. So I'm going to stick that down there. So that just sets the title to, of the window to BFPNMS is running, which basically stands for Batch File Player Moving System is running. The very next thing that I do is CLS, which I also showed clears the screen and then just to make sure the color is set properly I do color 0f which sets it to the primary black or white on black so the next small set here is the init setup without that slash of course so what this is is it's basically setting the X chord to 3 and the Y chord to 3 of the starting position. So you remember when we started the batch file player moving system up for the first time, we were sitting in the center of the grid. Not in the corner, not in a random place, just exactly in the center. And this is what does it. So if I wanted to start in another corner, I'd set this to be, I think, 5. So I just set it to 5 or to both these two different numbers, basically like an XY coordinate on the um, XY plane. I'm just going to leave them at 3 for yeah, making it easy on us. So if you know of a way to do this simpler, please share it with me because I'd like to know. This next set of code is very vital as to how it's set up. This next section is the display setup. It basically clears out all of the X coordinates. So here is, it's basically setting all these variables, which you can see here, are used in the grid. And I'll explain how to make this grid here once I get to this section. So what it does is once you've pressed W, S, A, or D, First, it confirms that you can do it, which I'll explain in one of these sections because they're all similar. And then it sends you up to display setup, 
which clears the screen off, sets all of the coordinates on the board to nothing. So if you look after here, you can't see it, but there are two spaces after it. So there's one, one, two. So there are two spaces. If you don't have those two spaces, then the section that is this, so say this coordinate x4, y3, which is right x4, y3, is right here. If there were not those two spaces there and your um, block was not going to move there, this would remain whatever it was last. So say you moved into that, it would remain that until it got cleared. So it would get cleared and then there would be nothing. So there would basically be the line and then the line, then an open spot. So that these two spaces are vital. So now the display section. I'm going to get to that little spot there next after this. So the display section here basically okay, I don't like how it's at the bottom. So the the first thing it does when it gets to display is it sets this variable here. So it's basically x x chord y y chord. So the x chord is and the y chords, the new one, they're determined in this section here. So once it's determined here, and once it's cleared everything out, you must set your new position here. So by doing by running this command, set the letter x, x chord, y, y chord to these funny u's. Those funny u's equal this solid block that you saw in it. I don't have an example of it on my computer other than in that. So that just basically sets it to a solid block so that you see where you're sitting. So it does that, and then it just echoes the command or the controls, then echoes a few blank lines for just looking nice. So then the important part is this little carrot before the pipe. So this pipe can be used as or in batch files, I believe. If I'm incorrect, please correct me in the comments and I'll correct myself in the video over with annotations. So if you don't have this pipe here, it will throw errors up the wazoo when you're trying to command this. This little carrot here before the pipe is basically the, the batch file escape key. So then the first line is just setting the top row. Second line is setting up the row first row with the coordinates, which is the Y5 row, then Y4 with a space between it, and so on and so on. This next section here is determining which way you moved. So it's basically, I put a comment in here for myself to know what the heck that meant. So then the very next command that gets run is choice. So I believe I showed you in one of the tutorials what choice is. So basically what choice is, if I didn't, it's a very quick simple way to do a choice between multiple um, characters, numbers, or letters, which just the same thing. And then, so this is basically saying choice slash C W S A D M slash N. So the slash C switch basically says, okay, so here are your choices. If that's not specified, it defaults to Y N, so yes or no. Then the slash N is basically saying don't show that I'm giving you a choice because I'm I gave you the instructions here all this would say is press W S A D or M it wouldn't tell you what they would do so then after you've pressed one of those keys it the batch file must you must quickly get the error level of this return exit here because if you don't then you won't be able to use it again. You'll if you run a command right after this, you won't be able to use it. So it's vital that these these two stay together. The choice and then the set. So the set basically sets direction equal to air level. So then the next command is go to direction, then the variable direction that we just set here. So what this does is it gives you this direction colon the place that you can go to of direction 1, direction 2, 3, 4, and 5. So I'm just going to copy this whole block over. 
So how you actually move is when you press W, since that, the, that is the first choice in the choice command, that is direction 1. So I need to fix this color scheme. So the first thing that happens is set does the arithmetic arithmetic command of set slash a y chord equals y chord plus one the variable y chord of course so that's basically saying all right I've got variable a and I'm adding one to it and then setting it back to a so I still can use it under that name so then the next thing that you have to test is is that y chord greater than five because how I determined that it would be greater than five is when you're pressing W you're going up on the coordinate system so you'd be eventually reaching x3 y5 or anything x y5 so it has to determine if it is greater than that set the y chord equal to y chord minus one which basically sets it back to what it was before this was called and then it goes to display setup which is up here clears everything out and then does it again the second one is for Y chord when you're pressing S because it's W S there's the second one S so direction 2 is setting the Y chord minus 1 and then setting it back to Y chord and it basically tests is Y chord less than 1 if so then add 1 back to Y chord and go back to display setup meaning that you've left the board and cannot be rendered so then if it's not less than that then it goes to display setup and properly displays your location and the next two are for the X chord so if you go too far to the left this one would handle that and if you go too far to the right this one would handle that the last one is the most simple one direction 5 which only exits it so now to kind of explain what happens so now that you know what the whole code is doing you start the batch file this section here this section here runs and gets all your starting variables set so these X chords get set to 3 so this is vital that this happens if this didn't happen the first time you start the batch file you wouldn't know where you're sitting so in order to do that I just have the init setup initial setup of X chord 3 and Y chord 3 so then how that comes into play is this X chord comes into play right here so this 3 would become x3 y and then the y chord which is 3 3 so then that would set that to that solid block that you saw in the batch file so then it would go through render the so then it you have to have this line after all of this because if you don't you'll set this to the block and then oh look here's x3 y3 gain set to nothing so and that's why I've got that in the display section because that's resetting this display this is actually rendering the pixel for, or the block for the player to know where they're sitting so once it's rendered you sitting at x3 y3 then asks you which way do you want to move next so if you press let's just start with W and it'll be the same for every other direction except you move in a different way so when you press W it takes your Y chord adds one to it so it's taking this variable here adding one to it so it was three now it's four so now it's testing is it greater than five not greater than or equal to just greater than so since it's four you skip this section here else go to setup and display setup so the batch file jumps up here clears everything out so it clears out x3 y3 of having the um, solid block here and then sets x3 y4 which is right here to that solid block because this is a variable variable I like how that sounds because it's basically saying okay so this can change to any variable you want depending on what these other variables inside the variable are so if we run this again we all see so there's the initial setup there's the title you won't be able you also can see that the starting spot is x3 y3 so now w moves it up to that so you know that the batch file just ran through setting the y chord to y chord plus one 
and it was successful. We do that again, it was successful again. This time it's failing because I'm trying to set it to 6. Same with going all the way down here. The only problem with this is you can kind of see an S flickering here, now an A, an S, depending on which way you go. If you fail, it just depends on how fast the screen can refresh, which the program can run faster than the screen can refresh, I think. So that's just one limit of this because you'll always see that little S or W before you move and then it immediately gets cleared out. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. In the download I'm going to provide this file as a .txt so I will just copy and paste this to the same folder and then rename this to .txt not tt not tx5 there we go dot text so in order for you to use this so whenever you double click it you're just going to see all the source code here in order to use this you're just going to have to right click rename change the the first t and the x to ba so that it makes it look like batch underscore file underscore player underscore moving underscore system dot bat if you want to rename that you can there's nothing referencing that but just so you know you can in order to run it you need to change that to txt the only reason I'm providing it in a text format is because most websites won't like batch or executables so I'm just making it simple giving something you can look okay I don't see it doing anything that it shouldn't be doing so that's okay I'll rename it to batch and run or it's not it doesn't have an infinite loop that it's impossible to quit which I do have batch files which I will never publish because I don't want to give you guys viruses and then have you be mad at me. So there are batch files that you can create, I won't say how, that you can just get them to infinitely and exponentially open themselves. So I hope this, well, one more thing before I conclude. If you want to create your own kind of video game in batch, you can use my batch file player moving system if you want. All I ask is that in the source code you give credit to me for the um, the initial design of the um, setup here. If you know how to make a matrix in batch and move all this into a matrix for the locations on this grid, that's great. Please share it with me. I'd love to see how to do that because I don't know how to. So, alright, enough babbling from me. and. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial about the Bash File Player Moving System. If you liked it, please give this video a like. If you have any questions or comments about the video, post them in the comment section. I read through every comment I get. Um, if you want to see more tutorial videos like this, subscribe to my channel because I will be doing more random tutorials like this whenever I'm bored. I'm thinking I'll try to do a video every Wednesday over the school year and then over the summer maybe Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I post Minecraft videos, batch, whatever I want. And if you guys start suggesting it, it'll be whatever you want. So thanks for watching.